Every day, the matter surrounding us undergoes transformations. An example can be seen in an egg. When you crack an egg open, it changes. Similarly, when you fry that egg in a pan, it transforms again. So how do we classify these changes? Are they physical changes or chemical ones? A physical change refers to alterations in a substance's position, shape, size, or state. But it's crucial to note that in a physical change, a new substance doesn't form. Let's consider a few examples. You can take a piece of paper and tear it. You could crush a pretzel or chop a carrot into fine slices. These actions result in a physical change because even though the substance's appearance alters, its identity doesn't change. One common type of physical change is the change in states of matter, from solid to liquid to gas and back. This transformation doesn't alter the chemical composition of the substance. Every substance undergoes a state change at different temperatures. The transition from a solid state to a liquid state occurs at a specific temperature known as the melting point. For instance, ice, which is the solid state of water, has a melting point of zero Celsius. On the other hand, sugar, which is a different kind of substance, has a melting point of 185 degrees Celsius. A liquid can transform into either a solid through freezing or a gas through evaporation. Evaporation is the process where molecules at the surface of a liquid become gaseous. When you increase the temperature of the liquid, evaporation becomes faster. At a certain high temperature, the liquid starts to boil, causing the molecules under the surface to convert into gas and rise to the surface as bubbles. This specific temperature is known as the boiling point, and it's different for every substance. Water, for instance, has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, while acetic acid boils at 180 degrees Celsius. If the gas particles formed from boiling encounter a cold surface, they convert back into a liquid, a process known as condensation, which is another physical change. Here is the full changing states of matter cycle. The solid ice melts and turns into the liquid water. When heated to the boiling point, the water is evaporated. When this gas with water we know this as steam touches a cold surface, it condenses back to a liquid. This liquid can be frozen into icy to start the process again. Another way to bring about a physical change is by mixing substances. For example, if you combine lemon juice, water, and sugar, you get a mixture known as lemonade. Each substance retains its properties, and no new chemical compound is formed. Sometimes mixtures can be suspensions. A suspension is a kind of mixture in which the particles separate after staying still for a while. Think about Italian salad dressing. You need to shake it before pouring it over your salad to ensure the ingredients that have separated mix together again. Over time, you can see the components like oil, vinegar, and seasoning separate out once more. Another type of mixture is a solution. This is when one substance dissolves in another. For example, if you mix a powdery drink mix with water or dissolve salt in water, you get a solution. The substance that dissolves, like the salt, is called the solute, and the substance that does the dissolving, like the water, is called the solvent. While cutting a loaf of bread into slices is a physical change, toasting a slice is a chemical change because the bread's substances change chemically and display different properties. Chemical changes can often be accompanied by heat, light, color changes, or fizzing. For instance, in autumn, leaves change color. This is due to a chemical change happening within them. Rust on an iron object or mold on food are other examples of chemical changes, visible through color change. When you burn a piece of wood, it undergoes a chemical change known as combustion. This process releases energy in the form of heat and light. Similarly, during baking, cookies absorb energy, indicating another chemical change.